You should really morning, dehydrate everybody. the sausage Robert, prior to I cooking. Add it to hot water and, and let it sit and then drain the water. Life, being a consultant, I had been buying it each month for $100. So my best policy as far as that goes, if you like something so much, you might as well just get the product and be a consultant. So um, you can fit it to your budget. You can have a delivery each month. I just limited myself to $100 so I could buy my meat, meats and that was on a budget. So I allowed myself $100. I was doing it for three months and I decided why do I want to continue like this and just get the product and be a consultant. So I will have a website. Five, Thrive Life is um, 25 years of shelf life. Okay, when you open it, you get this little packet in there. And that packet is an um, oxygen absorber. And that keeps your product um, fresh. It's good for 25 years on the shelf if you don't open the can. But if you open the can, you're probably going to have to add another one of these or use the product gap. So this morning, I'm making sausage and gravy. I have one cup of sausage right there from this container. I have two tablespoons of butter in the pan. I'm going to rehydrate that. It's freeze dried and it, it's good for 25 years. And if you're a prepper, you're going to want that. So I have biscuits right here and I've got one already in there. I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to get me a wooden spoon. I'm going to rehydrate that and I'm just going to add that to my pan and let that cook. Okay, so I have fresh ground pepper here. I have one teaspoon. I might add up to two teaspoons. I got Himalayan pink salt because it's got all kinds of minerals in it. I have one cup of milk and I have a third cup of flour. I'm going to make um, a roux and I'm going to have sausage and gravy over biscuits. So I'm going to get this browning up in the pan. And I'm going to add... A little bit of water to this I'm gonna add cold water so I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna stir that while I'm browning that up and all you need is a real thin flour and water if it's cold you won't have no lumps and you just want to keep stirring to get all the lumps out or you can make you can take your milk and put it in a pan add your butter and then um, add this, or you can add this to a pan and brown this up and then add your milk and butter. There's several different ways. It all comes out, as you can tell, there's no lumps in that. It's completely thinned out. So we're gonna brown this up. And some jumped out of my pan. When my biscuits come up, I'm going to pull them out and add some more biscuits. So I'm going to get more ready because I got people in the house that I need to feed. And I love sausage and gravy. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of fresh ground pepper and I ground that myself. I'm going to add my Himalayan pink salt, which I've got the cover turned over, and I'm going to put that in afterwards, so I'll act like I'm shaking it. I have one, tea, one half a teaspoon of salt going into that, okay? And the, most, the more pepper that you add to this, the better it will taste, because it's going to have that pepper taste of sausage and gravy that you have out south, and I just totally love that. So to this right now, I'm going to add my milk so these sausages can rehydrate. And I'm going to get grab my biscuits because they just popped up. And I'll have to get that out off camera. But what I'll do is when I'm ready to go to the next step, I will bring you back. I'm going to let these soften up a little bit in the milk. I'm not going to overcook this because it is... Um, you don't want to scald your milk. So I'm going to turn it down to low and I'm just going to let these cook a little bit and then I'll bring you back. I'm going to pop some more biscuits down. Okay, I'm going to add my cream to this or my flour and water base. I might not add it all. I might just start out with just half of it and I'm going to try to thicken this up a little bit. Okay. 
and I'm probably going to let this cook a little bit longer. Maybe I should have took the sausage and added to some hot water and just reconstitute it. It's still a little bit um, hard, even though I've cooked it a few minutes. I didn't want my melt to burn. See, I didn't need much of the flour and water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit. But the next time, um, just take and add, if you decide to get the sausage, just add it to some water and let it reconstitute and then just drain it. But this is going to be fine because I'm just going to keep it on here and just let it um, just hang out until um, the sausage comes tender. And some of them are getting that way, don't get me wrong. Um, I should have just listened to directions and just put it in hot water and let it reconstitute. But um, I'm just going to shut this off. Let me just check them and see if they're done. If not, I'll just let them hang out. But anyways, I just wanted to share this sausage and gravy. And um, word of mouth, you should just take and reconstitute the sausage prior. See, they're done. They're done. So in a matter of minutes, it was done. So I'm just going to serve this over biscuits. And that's it. Sausage and gravy by Thrive Life. And it's absolutely delicious. I've already tried some of it. So thanks for joining. Bye-bye.